Well, hey, everybody. It cometh for egg. Just making a long overdue video. You know, when you're a card collector and a YouTuber, uh, you, you, you just accumulate cards, whether you, you sell, buy, trade, whatever it is, and um, you stack them and stack them and stack them until uh, you make a video. And if you don't make a video in a couple of months, then is what it is. But uh, I'm going to go over some deals, some uh, card show pickups, some eBay pickups, some trades, some things like that. First off, I went to a show with a good friend of the channel, Palm Beach Sports Cards. I'll leave links in the description below for everyone that I mention here today. But uh, we went to a great little card show in Cocoa Beach, had a great time, uh, picked up some good deals. Uh, I, I picked up some vintage cards. I even picked up a card of a guy who's now no longer with us. He was alive during the show, but but not after. So um, we'll go through some of those and some other items here. A little quick mail day, a couple of shout outs. So uh, where to get started? Well, let's get started with this stack right here. This is the vintage that I picked up from one of the vintage dealers there at the show. Uh, the guy's got all raw, nothing is graded, and uh, always a good tip, you know, you're not going to know the prices of every card on the market, but you go to a guy's table... You ask him about the one or two or three cards that you know the price of, and if he's way out of bounds, then then you keep walking. But this guy was not. Um, picked up some great cards here. This entire stack of vintage was thirty bucks. Um, he had a bunch of stuff out there, nothing tagged, but he said make a pile and I'll make you a good deal. So I, I made a little pile. Uh, first, let's just start with this here. We got. Uh, a 52 Tops card. Always good to add a 52 Tops card to the collection. Henry Majeski seemed like a good card to get. He was asking $3 a piece for his 52 Tops Commons. This here, you'll notice, is card number 112. And he's, uh, his home is uh, Staten Island, New York. Born there and lives there. So Staten Island, New Yorker, number 112, and a 52 tops, all creased and everything, but that's cool. I'll take that for the old PC. Now let's see what else we got for that 30 bucks. Got a Cepeda Clemente Hank Aaron RBI leaders from 68 in not so great condition. Got a uh, ERA leaders from the same set with Phil Necro and a couple of Phillies uh, in better condition. Right here, here you go, 1968 All-Star Selection and 69 Tops, Sporting News, Tim McCarver. Rest in peace. Great card, I just figured I'd pick it up because most of these others he had for like one or two dollars. Like this Orlando Cepeda where he's got this very funny look on his face. There appears to be a coffee stain there. I'm going to say it's coffee. I'd, I'd prefer to think that it's coffee. Um... What else? Had a couple of uh, Juan Marichal cards, which I figured I would pick up because this man still uh, signs autographs through the mail. So uh, picked these up. Again, probably like a buck or so a piece when you break it down and uh, figured those would look good with an autograph. Also picked up a, a, a pack, a single pack of a uh, Topps Update at the gas station on my way home and picked that up. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe I need to send that into him too. Uh, and then the, the big bangers were uh, Pete Rose. Got these Pete Rose cards in kind of questionable condition, <laughs> all right? A little miscut, little rounded corners is what it is. But that, that whole stack was 30 bucks. So I figured that was a pretty good deal. Saw a guy doing an online auction the other day was selling 10 commons for $30. <laughs> that was his opening bid. Guy's a clown. But anyway, they also had regular dollar uh, bins there. Uh, I got these three cards for two bucks. Uh, a numbered Seau, a see-through Dion Sanders, and a great Willie Stargell. And it's just weird that I showed a Willie Stargell 1980 tops, along with a Pete Rose 1980 tops, and a card that I did pick up because their rookie cards are not so great looking. I've already had this, Pete Rose's great looking second year in a 2.5, but I picked up a Willie Stargell second year in a 3. So while these guys' rookie cards are way out of my price range in decent condition and uh, uh, not not good looking, they're they're these exact same face shots, the floating heads with four of them in 1963. So I, I prefer these. I like these better, and 
Just weird. Willie Stargell and Pete Rose kind of go hand in hand in my collection. Uh, the biggest card that I picked up at this show, uh, a dude had three Orlando Cepeda rookies, 1958 tops. And this one was the best centered out of the three. Yeah. The best centered out of the three. Also, the red was nice and clean, which I like. There was no, uh, you know, snowflakes or dots or whiting or anything like that. Didn't have a Cepeda rookie card. Got a pretty decent looking second year, but was definitely glad to pick that up. And it's CSG, so it's going to cost me a little less than a, a PSA or whatever, SGC. So I was definitely glad to pick that up. Oh, what else? Oh, didn't have a Diamond Dallas Page autograph in my wrestling PC. But look at that all shiny. I love it. Greatest movie of all time is Ready to Rumble. Everybody knows that. But uh, uh, most of his autographs came before he was with WWE. Like he had those leaf cards and stuff like that. And he would literally just sign DDP. And I, I don't like that. I don't want to spend money for a guy to write a couple of initials. That's why I don't collect autographs of modern players. Um, but yeah, DDP autograph with the full Diamond Dallas page on it. So love that. Uh, oh, said I, uh, you know, ran into my buddy, uh, Palm Beach sports cards at the show and the dude hooked it up with Yankees cards, uh, and just PC cards for me. So these are all cards that were handed to me by, uh, Palm Beach sports cards. This Whitey Ford throwback, cool Mattingly that I needed, couple more Mattingly's. Oh, these sweet Tops glossy cards from 85, 86, 86 Tops set Lee Tunnel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look out ladies. His name is Lee and he's looking to tunnel. Uh, just a bunch of, probably broke up a set of 86 Tops or something. These super slick Hall of Famer cards, Lou Gehrig, Whitey Ford, and Mickey Mantle. So that's the man, Alex, Palm Beach sports cards. Then he had these other cards. He was doing a deal with some dealer. And he had this. And if you know what this is, this is what, a, a 1996 Topps Chrome Refractor of Don Mattingly. Not a, a card I do not own previous to uh, you know running into him that day. And the dealer had it like in his $10 box. So Alex just put it in with a bunch of other cards, you know, and figured the guy was kind of high on it. Uh, Alex thought this was like a dollar card or something. I, I thought it was worth a few bucks. Uh, then looked up comps on eBay when I got home. It was like $75. I don't know what it was. I mean, they, 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 they sell for somewhere between 60 and 200 bucks, just kind of depending. But great card. I still need a Todd Helton for my old... Uh, Rockies PC, but uh, yeah, man, definitely glad to have that. He also hooked it up with a numbered Yogi Berra, a numbered Mo Rivera. Virgil had trucks like a truck, 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 Murderers Row, Gehrig, and Babe Ruth, and a couple of autos. One from my favorite Yankees autograph set of all time. That's the 2001 Signature Series. And then Joe Pepitone. Awesome freaking card. Love that. That's the retired edition, uncirculated with the cool old Tops logo, old umbrella. So that was all uh, Alex from Palm Beach Sports Cards. Definitely check out his channel. And I was realizing I don't have a Monty Irvin autographed card. There's a lot of them out there, and they're still so cheap. I think this was under 14 bucks. It's like a piece of a baseball. Monty Irvin signed there. Beautiful, beautiful. Great condition card, great bold autograph on a baseball. And to think like this was less than the price of buying a baseball at a baseball game, like a, a, an unautographed new baseball. So that, that was a no-brainer. That was something I definitely had to pick up. Boom, he puts you up here, Monta Irvin. All right. So uh, what else? What else do we have? Um... Oh, let me talk about another card uh, community member here, uh, Brandon Jensen. That's another thing I love about this card community. I was in a YouTuber's live auction where another YouTuber was selling uh, YouTuber's cards to benefit uh, a baseball team of another YouTuber. So it was just great. He showed a uh, Michael Jordan slab, and that's all I needed to see. You know, Michael Jordan, PSA slab, I'll take it. 1996 was such a great year. And uh, so, yeah, just grab the card. Uh, that's all he had to send me. 
He sent me a nice little letter, Brandon Jensen, talking about, uh, you know, how awesome of a friend I am. That's what it says. You ain't got to read it. Uh, got some sweet uh, stickers top loaded. Uh, cool refrigerator magnet here. So I'll leave a link in the description below. Check out Brandon Jensen. Or if you want to check out my uh, sister-in-law, just go to... Uh, OnlyFans.com slash top loaded. Uh, but, you know, this wasn't just that. He actually made it a card crew. Hashtag card crew. Spread the love, spread the hobby, giveaway. So, what up, Scotty Aranya? We've got an entry here because instead of just sending me the slab, he sent me seven unopened packs of uh, Top's Finest uh, Wrestling 2021. So, boom, there's his entry. If you don't know about it, again, I'll link Scotty Aranya. You find out all about card crew and the giveaway. Uh, picked up a Bob Gibson card because affordable. A uh, great looking card. Love the uh, color choice on this particular 75 tops. Sometimes they don't go. Sometimes they just clash to hell. But I mean, look at his uniform. It's, it's, it's red and yellow. And then the card is red and yellow. It's beautiful. Great looking card stats there. I, I I know this was less than five or six bucks. Seemed like a great pickup at the time. Still does now. Uh, you know how as a, a sports card collector, a lot of times uh, someone will come up to you and go, Oh, you collect cards? I got some cards. You want to take a look at them? You're like, ah, shit. I really want to look at your late 80s, early 90s overproduced crap. And it's like, that that's what it is all the time. But it just also shows you... Now, with that uh, overabundance of cards, I picked up this card for under $5, like well under $5. Yes, this is a card of one of the hottest names in the hobby, Derek Jeter, as a teenager in 1992. This is a rookie card, a pre-rookie card, a, a, a high school card. But they printed so damn many cards in 92 that you can still, to this day, pick up this card for under $5. That's crazy. But, uh, you know, Derek Jeter. And I, I guess I didn't have it. I did not have that card in the collection. So, uh, again, glad, gladly to pick it up. Oh, these are going to fall. And it's going to be hilarious. Um, also picked up this card. I love this throwback design. It's a rookie card of Yadier Molina. Uh, was this 2004 Cracker Jack? Uh, just, just love it. Feel it's a really undervalued card, especially with his career just ending. He's going to be a hall of famer. This, this was an easy, easy pickup to make. Uh, yeah, love that Cracker Jack look there. Uh, what else here? What else did I get? Um, oh, uh, picked up this card on eBay because literally it was a dollar or two. It was it was cheaper than some regular base issue Joe Burrow or uh, Tua or or definitely Patty Mahomes or, or, or any of those dudes. But I got Marlon Briscoe rookie card. I should tell you something. This isn't the guy's rookie card. He had played, this is his fifth season. And in his first season, he was the he was the star quarterback of the Denver Broncos. Starting quarterback in 68 in his rookie year. This card is from 72, and it's his first card. But it was awesome. No fanfare, no nothing. The guy became the first black uh, starting quarterback ever. The man is still alive. He tells a great story. Um, and yeah, five years into his career, they, they made him a wide receiver after that year literally didn't allow him to try out for the quarterback position and then he became an all pro he's a, he's a fantastic wide receiver dude's awesome and you can get his 1972 rookie card for for again less than the price of a, a, a common joe burrow or one of your hot young uh, uh, quarterbacks today so if you don't have this card go out to ebay pick one up now or just you know continue being a horrible racist you should pick up two, all right? Just so people don't start questioning it. But anyway, that's a great card. Uh, another great person in the community, um, B-Pats. Well, he's having an auction. This, again, was months ago. Uh, and I got my auction stuff in, uh, mainly wrestling. Let's see, I got a, got a Steph Curry. I got a Austin Theory, uh, finest rookie card refractor. Some legends here. Hulk Hogan, The Rock. Green Bailey, 
Mud on to me with the Bailey. And then Stacy Keebler. Wow. Look at that shine. This looks like the uh, eye test you get at the optometrist. My grandfather used to call the optometrist the oculist. Never heard that word before, but I, I, I like it better. I think I'm going to bring back the word oculist. Just sounds better than optometrist. But anyway, Stacey Keebler, that was a great card. And also I picked up a, a Veer Mahan rookie card. Why would I pick up a Veer Mahan base card? Well, because I'm a weird collector and I needed it to go with this. My Rinku Singe uh, autographed first Bowman Chrome rookie card. This is the guy from the uh, Disney movie, uh, Million Dollar Arm, one of the two. He was a pitcher in the Pirates organization. Uh, didn't make it in baseball, but, you know, decade and some later, he's out there wrestling. Bulked up a little bit, eating his Wheaties, doing his Hindu squats. Is that race? No, he's doing his Hindu squats. It's a thing. And uh, so what I got to do, I got to put this behind here and then put it in here. And then it still goes in my prospects PC, not in the wrestling PC. So that's the way I collect. Collect however you want. If someone tries to tell you how to collect, please kick them in the dick and have a great day. Remember, as always, it come with an egg.